Hey, hey guys, what is up? So today I thought I would do a video, right? It's Vlogmas, right? So we're going to give the attention to what is being talked about. Now normally I would like to just like ignore, move on, who cares? And like, in general, that is my, that is my mantra. Heart crushes my mana. I also went super, super tan on the makeup, so do not judge. Please do not judge. But I know you will judge. But honestly, isn't that my thing here? I think my thing here is this, right? It's Vlogmas, so it's time to talk about the drama. So all the videos, we're in the middle of a windstorm and it literally sounds like there's like children screaming, being sucked up in an air tornado. It's crazy. Hopefully our like, house doesn't go. But like, I feel like that's kind of, we give the people what they want here, right? And so because of Vlogmas, I'm gonna give you what you want, which is acknowledging drama, rumors, just silly stuff, like completely silly stuff. That gets a lot of views. Most drama channels get more views than me, and I think I'm more salty about that because they have the clickbait, they have the titles, and um, yeah, let's just talk about how I ruined my $4 million mansion by hoarding because that is the thing. Everyone just loves to like, it's messy. I also don't understand why it bothers people so much, so for you, this is your video. <laughs> For those who really want to just get irritated, this is your video. And for those who don't want to get irritated, if you're just like an actual fan and you're lovely and you actually this actually bothers you, like you could probably skip this video. But if you're someone who just like loves to get irritated, here you go. So this is what I call the hoarding room. <laughs> or what the internet calls a hoarding room. It's really our kind of like working out of space right now. Like our, our house is a work in progress. If you can see, I'll show you. So if you see over there, like our dining room is finally coming together. Like we're building walls, we're doing all this stuff like that. Everything in our house is custom because my, um, my fiance does custom furniture. He like, this is what he does. He does custom things in people's houses. So if you go over here, this is sort of the formal living room. Now we have a casual living room that literally has like a Christmas tree and couches and some decor in it. Like it's, it's very decluttered. It's, well, I won't say very decluttered. There's some boxes along the side of the walls, but it's very decluttered. We kind of put all this stuff in here to start. This became like a shipping and receiving center because if you don't know, hi, my name is Trish. I'm an actual professional influencer. We'll get into that whole thing later about, um, We'll just get into that later. There's, there's, I have a whole drama series coming for you guys this vlogmas, so just buckle up. But I, I'm an influencer. I, you know, YouTube is no longer my primary income. It was for very, not even that many years. Since like 2017, 2017, I was like, I stopped really like relying on AdSense. Love AdSense. Appreciate AdSense. Will take anything because that's just what I am. I'm a hustler, hustler, hustler. And if you didn't know, I also have a clothing line, Sad Boy 2005. We have a new, we have new merch out now, SadBoy2005.com. This is the distressed tee. It's a deep V neck that already comes like this with distressed holes. It's very 2005. So if you're if you're an old millennial like myself, or actually we're a young, no, we're an old millennial. Um, SadBoy2005.com. Get the bag because. Apparently I'm going broke. That's a whole other title though. That's a different clickbait. <laughs> I gotta say that clickbait. So um, yeah, I do in, I do influencer things. So basically I am um, like fortunate. I'm very fortunate actually because I've survived a lot of cancellations and um, really the trick to surviving cancellation is to just keep going. Right, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like the trick to surviving life. You just gotta keep going and, and you survive. But the great thing, I'm learning a hard crusher, there's no life or death, so. Bagabagita, everything is good. There's no life, there's no death. We are eternal. <sighs> That's a different channel. So, <laughs> I'm sure everyone's gonna be like, what are you on, Trish? And the answer is honestly just 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 spirituality, just source energy is like really lifting me up. So I'm an influencer and I get sent a lot of clothing. I obviously have my own clothing brand as well. Um, and I do a lot of cosplay. That's just for fun, that's for, for me. So, so over here we have costumes. And these are actual costumes that I just haven't even worn yet. Like, I'll show you guys. This is Sharpay Evans. Not from High School Musical 1, 2, but High School Musical 3, where her assistant also wears this dress in the finale. I love it. I have nowhere to wear it. Um, but I love it. This was, um, this was a up, a up costume. I had an idea on this uh, little podcast I used to do called Frenemies that we were going to dress up as uh, the characters from Up. Never came to fruition, but I still will wear this. We actually have the jacket Moses wore in some skit we did for this other channel called Trish Talks. It's a it's a head and jam. We're on hiatus, but we're coming back for season two. But I also had like really fun ones for Halloween that I never wore. This is a Hubie Halloween costume. 
Um, yeah, this is just like my costumes. And then, oh, we were gonna do an Adam Sandler night. I have like the craziest ideas and then I get these costumes and we don't wear it. And Moses is gonna be the water boy. <laughs> so this is our water boy costume. I mean, we just have, a, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just a, a, just cosplay after cosplay. This was another uh, Frenemies one. This was our, uh, we were gonna do Shrek and uh, Fiona. Um, so, you know, we have that. Oh, this is Sharpay bought for the top. So a lot of these are just that, and sometimes you know when you have a costume idea and it just doesn't come about, you just kind of get over it. No, I still want to do these cosplays really, really bad for Christmas. This is um, Kristen from American Girls, and then this is her Christmas one, and then this is kind of her traditional one right here. So this is kind of our costume. I have Isabella and Paolo. We have, this is my Isabella, or it's Lizzie and Paolo when they're looking for cheese in Italy. From the Lizzie I just have like infinite. Oh, this is the little headpiece for... Um, I'll show you over here for Kristen's Christmas, but yeah, and some of these costumes we did wear. This is like Jim and Tammy. This is the Polo shirt, and then over here we have costumes. So you may call this hoarding, but it's actually kind of organized now. You may call it hoarding, um, but I like I said, I call it like it's our creative space. So there's just clothing. This is all like the new Fashion Nova stuff. So when I get sent new Fashion Nova, I um. I hang it here so I can wear it. Um, because fashion was great. Because the other thing is, I'm kind of just like not really good at finding clothes that fit me right. And fashion actually does fit me really good. Not sponsored by Fashion Nova, but when I do go out, I can take pictures in it, you know. So for Instagram posts or whatever. But I actually really do like this stuff, and they they they're so great. They just send me like infinite supplies. I buy a lot of stuff too. Because sometimes I actually feel bad asking for so many clothes because I I buy a ton of stuff too. So any of the new Fashion Nova, I usually we hang in clothing racks. So I kind of just grab it. Like this is really my closet. I have closets upstairs, but this is really my closet where I come and look through stuff. Um, and then kind of over here we have kind of a, I have a sad boy section upstairs, but this is kind of our new sad boy clothing for now because again, this is kind of my closet. I get ready in here. So it kind of has all the stuff just ready to go. Like when someone needs a jacket or something, like I'm obsessed with this new, um, this new sad boy. It's so great. I am obsessed with like military jackets. So we got these really cool sad boy patches made and I'm obsessed. Like this one is sad boy hazard and it says US sad boy right there, which I just thought was super cool. Um, I love it. I, I saw Gerard Way wearing a military jacket. So I was like, I need a military jacket. I'm going to make it. Um, and my other favorite thing besides the mean neck I'm wearing because I just did my makeup is this hoodie. I am so obsessed with this. I think it's so freaking cute. And it's our oversized one, so the sleeves are really long. The armpits go really low, which I think is really hard to find. So that's kind of our clothing racks. And as far as over here goes, um, this became more of storage. Like, we ran out of space in the garage. So we kind of had all these boxes are from my old house. And we have gone through a lot of them. That's the thing. We actually have gone through quite a bit of them. And same thing with all the clear tubs. They're from my old house. So it's just going through it. If you can't tell over here, because you probably can't see, um, a lot of this stuff is, if it's stuff to donate, I will donate it in like this bag right here. If it's a box, that's usually for either my mom, my sister, um, anyone who works in our house. If it's, you know, whoever comes in, um, you know, house managers, all that stuff. If we're like, hey, if you want some clothes, because it's just, I have so many clothes. Like I'm very, very blessed, but I have so many. So just stuff I buy. I mean, if you go, I think my mom sells, she keeps a lot, but my mom also sells a lot of my clothes that I bought, that I purchased um, on Poshmark that has like brand new tags and stuff like that. It's just like, I and I, I've been doing better at not buying so clothes, but I do buy so many clothes, but because now I work with my clothing brand and then also Fashion Nova, which I really, really do love and like that's really all I wear, I really don't need to buy clothes. So all of that is stuff I bought, like just from sites. So it, like I said, it either gets donated or it's like the stuff that like could be sold or given away to people that come in here. And as you can see, these are boxes that we've cleared out. So it is a work in progress. There's so many boxes. This clothing rack is kind of a miscellaneous clothing rack and um, probably just something we need to go through. But we used to have a lot more clothing racks in here. So this is actually very organized, believe it or not. So now I'm gonna turn you guys around over here. You're gonna face the window, but that's okay. I'll just be back up for a minute. So this is the glam area right now. Now I have a glam room being built, which I'm very fortunate. But again, it's just taking such a long time. Just materials in general are taking long. Like other projects that my fiance works on is just is just taking a long, long time. It's just 
delayed. So, um, like, the materials are just stuck. So, like, the mirrors we ordered a long time ago, there are huge mirrors down there. The light bulbs, we're still epoxying the floor. It's just a lot. It's, like, a work in progress. So, this has been the temporary glam station. Um, this is the chair I'll sit in for glam when I get my hair makeup done. And that little foldable chair is what I've been doing my, um, my own hair makeup in. We'll move it a little closer. But, yeah, this vanity is going to go because we built custom, like, black marble downstairs in the glam room. So, this will probably go. I don't know where. My sister already bought one she wanted to keep this but it was gonna take a while so yeah i pretty much do my makeup over here um i don't know it's kind of like that and then over here it's just kind of a good place to glam too because it's a really open space and we usually have another glam court light but i think it's in the kitchen um now over here is like wigs and such i don't know if you guys can see but this is all my hair which again we would we are going to organize and all that but this is just full of wigs and extensions um, like some wigs I've never even worn. Like, what is this? I think you guys a better overview of this because I don't think you're getting the full effect, but you know, that's the hair. And so yeah, this looks again, it could look hoarding to some people. Like I get it. But for me, it's like we kind of know where everything is. So it's not it's not too bad. I mean, we have like again tell you, this is like our creative room. Like I have a random Maui from Moana hook. I, I've been wanting to do my Maui cosplay for so long and I just haven't had the right time to do it. I have this skirt and everything, but I'm not sorry, I don't know what's called a skirt, but the the leaf um the leaf bottoms that he wears. I don't know if it's a skirt. Um and then yeah, that's pretty much it. I can show you guys a little bit closer up of the makeup station. So there's some wigs up there. That was my Tammy Faye, my Ursula wig. And you guys, I don't know what this is, but I ordered that wig in the center, that little one, off of Etsy, thinking it was gonna fit my head. Why is that wig so tiny? What is that for? It's funny, we kept it, but like what? I don't know. And then, this is just like the makeup. I probably don't need the lights blaring. Let me just turn them off. So, it's just like kind of my makeup. My makeup collection has gone down tremendously. I used to have so much more makeup. It's literally just these top three drawers and what you see up there and that's it. And then in the drawers itself are like eyelashes, hair scrunchies, all of that stuff. It's not really that exciting. But, yeah. And then, there is a balcony to go outside. And that's some more miscellaneous clothing that I'm keeping over there. Can you see my nail? Yeah, that's miscellaneous clothing. And that too, that pile on the chair is like stuff I need to go through. So it's kind of it for my little room of hoarding. So to answer everyone's questions, let's flip you around here. Hi. Oh, that's so zoomed in. And my face is so tan. It's such a difference. Like, you know what I do my own makeup, right? Okay. So <laughs> that is a tour of my morning room <laughs> it's really a creative space and it's we're organizing it more and more this is supposed to be a formal living room will it be a formal living room in the next year maybe maybe by this time next year this will be but we kind of were stuck on what to do with this room anyway so it's kind of just made sense again fortunate to have I was like she ruined that beautiful house and like and probably if you see our decor you might think we still ruined it but it's just it's just we're both creative people and like I found Moses is also very creative like when his his space downstairs he has his like he has the whole basement basically as his workspace but his, his space before I when I met him when he was when we were living together his space is also organized chaos so it kind of just has how we function I, I know it's like crazy I guess it's like this whole thing of everyone just being like very cleanly and OCD Not, and we're clean we have a house manager that comes like three times a week like we are clean people but it's just it's it's organized chaos is how I just say it. And I just function really, I love, I love organization too. I'm not going to lie. Like I would love to hire someone to organize because like my closets upstairs, beautiful. They're beautifully organized and I keep things very nice and neat. So once they are organized, it's great. But for now, this is kind of like what works. I kind of just know, but like it would be great to one day have like a fashion of a closet or a section of my closet for that or a sad voice. You know, like it will get organized. There's just like an overflow of things happening right now. Aside from that, we're planning a wedding um, and travel and um, I feel like there's, oh, our clothing line literally launched. Like this has been a work in progress. Plus we have the next one already coming for Valentine's Day. Like it's just a lot. 
so it's all good like i love being busy like i actually like i'm thankful every day i'm just like thank you thank you thank you for this work and thank you for being busy and thank you for you know thank you to the universe for making me feel productive and busy and worthy and all that stuff like that so i'm really really thankful <clears throat> but sometimes the things that are low on our list of priorities for us it's our house which is a work in progress we have people coming to work like on this glass brick wall and our headboard like we would like to have spaces completed and done because we just don't really have that yet but it's our forever home like we bought this house knowing that that it was going to be a forever home so it's just we take our time with it but anyways i'm sorry if my mess bothers you i hope you can see now maybe it puts you more at ease or maybe it makes you even angrier i'm not sure but if you are someone who's a professional organizer and would love to come help to organize i will take it in the new year this this year is just completely shop but in the new year i would love to it'd be great Moses can be very organized. He did do my closets and those are very organized and beautiful. So again, it's just what's on our priority and what we need to get done right now. And this has not been on it. But we do come in here from time to time to try to organize it and make it look a little more organized, at least for ourselves too. But if you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know. If you want to see more home stuff, let us know. It's Again, everything's like a work in progress. So if you want to see the progress, let us know. And also, it's Vlogmas, and I'm going to give the people what they want and give me what I want, which is like, we got to get the views in Vlogmas. So if there's any like weird titles or things to address like that we've been avoiding or whatever, like, we'll address it the best we can, and I'll make sure to title it that. I honestly, like I said, I'm kind of out of touch. I just knew, I just had seen... No, we did an interview. That's what it was. We did an interview with an um, Israeli newspaper. And one of the questions were like, and we were kind of like nervous, the questions, because again, we don't really keep up. We really don't, especially now we're not. Um, but they're like, what do you think about all the comments about your house being so messy? And I was like, what? So then I did kind of go down a little bit of a dark hole. And I was like, oh my God, this is like a thing that like people are like, you guys are messy and you're hoarding. And I'm like, Okay, which is not anything new. I, I've moved hoarding to hoarding, but at least now I have a space and we don't let it get out of this space. Like I said, there's some boxes out there that we need to unbox, but this is like our space to do it. And once it gets crazy, we like organize it. That's our method to our madness. But anyways, that is going to do it for today, you guys. I hope you are enjoying daily uploads here on my main channel. I do daily uploads on my vlog channel as well, which is really supposed to be what Vlogmas is at. I'm not really doing like traditional vlogmas where I'm just like every day I wake up I try I should but I don't do that much every day so um I'm kind of just doing what I can and when I can so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video